Shelby here, back again with another Buzz Bassier tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to build your landing page with our in-app landing page builder in Buzz Bassier. Now, the Buzz Bassier landing page is one of the most important parts of your onboarding process and also just your ambassador program in general, because if you are using Buzz Bassier, you can use this landing page to funnel your ambassador applicants directly into your program. It can help you gain more applicants and just generate and direct more traffic to your ambassador program in general. The cool thing is that we do have multiple landing page templates already pre-built for you that you can use and just upload your own images to replace the template images. And it just makes it way easier and more simple to build a landing page instead of having to build everything from scratch like you would have to do in Shopify. However, there is a way to build from scratch if you want more customization. So I'm gonna show you both of those options um, and how to do both of those. First of all, you wanna make sure you're navigating to the landing page editor, which you can find on the left hand menu. So go there. As you can see, I already have a page active here. And so to open any active page that you have, you're just gonna click edit. And you can see this is the page that I've already built. Now this is a page that I did build from scratch. I didn't use any of the templates that we have available. So I just wanted to walk you through, um, if you are building from scratch, how to work some of the different elements and how the different elements work in our editor. So as you can see, the actual editor over here on the right has four different tabs. And I'll just kind of walk you through each one of these briefly. So the content tab is where you get all the elements you can drag and drop directly into your landing page. Um, you can do columns, a button, a divider, a heading, as well as just regular text, custom HTML. You can upload an image. You can add a menu, which is what I did up here. You can add social links, which is how I did this down here text right here. You can also add a video. So there's a lot of different things you can do with the custom elements of the editor. And then in the second tab is the blocks tab. It's kind of similar to the columns element that I showed you. Basically you can just drag over a block and then choose how many columns it has. If you want to do three columns, which is what I did in this row right here, you can also do you know, two, one, whatever works best for you. So that's how the blocks tab works. We also have the body tab. This is actually a way to customize the entire content area of your landing page at once. So you can change the background color, you can upload a background image, you can change the content width and the alignment of the content. As you can see, I just left aligned all of the content with one click of a button. So it's just an easier way to kind of mass edit your entire page at once. And then lastly, we have an images tab, which is basically just our way of giving you some royalty free stock photos that are not copyrighted. So you have full permission from the photographers and the models to use these photos in your landing page. If you ever need stock photos, they're right here in this images tab for you. And these are pulled from royalty free websites like Unsplash, Pexels, Pixabay, etc. So that's an overview of how the different elements of the editor works. So I also want to show you how this will work if you're building a landing page using one of our pre-built templates, which is probably the most popular option because it is quicker and it's much easier to customize when you already have kind of a starting point to go off of. So I'm just going to save and exit this. And then if you're new to the app, you most likely will not already have an existing landing page like the one I just showed you. So you'll want to create one for the first time. So to do that, just click the create button right here and this will open the landing page editor. And this is actually what you'll see from scratch if you don't already have a page built like I did in the last page. So you can see all the same elements here that I already went over, but what we're gonna do differently this time is we're gonna choose a template. So what, how you can do that is click the templates button on the top bar. And as you can see, we have multiple different templates for you to choose from. We have our classic template, which is the first template we ever made. And we also have a bunch of new templates that were actually created by designers that are very familiar with landing pages and how to make them laid out the best to engage potential applicants. There's multiple different purposes for each of these. For example, this connect template has a lot of images, so it's very image heavy. The simple template is just very simple text and instructions on how to join. Each of these templates has different uses. You can kind of preview each one and see which one would work the best for what you need a template for. Um, so to do that, as you just saw, you can just click the preview button on any of these templates. I think my favorite one is probably the story template at the bottom because it's a really great mix of images and text. It kind of tells your brand story. You can kind of give a little about the program section 
FAQs, different things like that. So I'm actually gonna choose this template. So to choose a template, you just click the choose template button and then it'll bring up a little pop-up that says, are you sure you want to use a new template? This is basically just because if you do have any previously built content in your landing page, the template will override all of that and replace it with a template. So I don't have any content, so I'm fine with that. I'm gonna say yes. So this will automatically fill the page with the template. And as I showed you, you can not only add your own elements. So for example, let's say you wanted to add another image here, right above the FAQ questions, you can add your own image by just clicking upload image or dragging the image here. You can add video, more text, etc. But if you're using a template, the most easy thing to do will probably just be replace the content that's already there with your own content. So for example, on this page, you can, if you like the apply now to join our ambassador community, you can keep that. It currently says launched earlier this year. So let's say you actually launched two years ago. You can change this to launch two years ago. It says we're building a community of over a thousand brand ambassadors. Let's say you, you currently only have 300. You can say over 300 brand ambassadors. All of this can be customized to fit your program and your needs. Let's say your brand colors are not pink you can obviously change that as well. So right now, the background color of this content is pink. You can change it to blue or black or white or whatever you want. So I'm gonna make it blue. And then let's say you wanna actually upload a picture of your own from your own brand. I'm just gonna use one of these stock photos for now. So let's say my colors are blue. I want a blue picture to put here. So this girl is holding a little sparkler, I'll put her. So you literally just drag it over and it takes the place of the current image. And then you can resize the image right here by applying effects. So you can crop it and kind of make it look more like the image that was there before in terms of sizing so that it fits the template better. You can also change the size of it like this. And there we go, 100% matches what the size of the template was before. So you can go through and change the entire template just like that. You can change the background color of the text. You can change the actual font if you'd like. Let's say you don't want to go with a serif font, but you'd rather use a sans serif. You can change the colors of the dividers. You can change the images. Like I already showed you, you can upload your own images. You can add your own text, replace this text completely. You can link your social icons here at the bottom by typing in the correct URLs and even adding more socials if you'd like. So this entire template is fully customizable. You can really make it your own. Um, so that is a quick overview of how to use our pre-built templates as well as how to build your page from scratch. If you have any further questions about how to use the landing page editor, make sure to check out our help center. And before I end this video, one more thing I wanna cover. Before you can save this page, you do have to enter a page title, so make sure you do that. So for example, this page could just be called Ambassador Program Page. You also can use this top bar to preview what your page will look like on desktop versus mobile view. You can also use this top bar to actually switch views in the editor as well. So you can edit in mobile versus in desktop instead of just having to look at the preview when the page is done. You can also use the undo and redo buttons to do undo and redo your changes. And then lastly, how you save your changes is you can either save and exit, which will just save your changes without publishing them to your live page, or you can click publish and this will publish your changes to your live landing page. So I'm gonna click publish and there you go. There is your page that you just created, the ambassador program page. Keep in mind that since I already had a page, that one is still going to be active because I never inactivated it. So if you want to make sure that your new page is active, you need to make sure that you activate that one, which will default inactivate the other one. So the one I just created is now active. It's my active landing page. I can view it, edit it, delete it, or grab the link for the landing page if I want to add it to my Shopify store, which we have another video about. So make sure you check out our help articles and our YouTube channel. And that is all for this video. Again, check out our help center if you have any questions or you can just send us a chat from within your app at the bottom right corner of your app window.